Hello and welcome to more Poke Park 2 Wonders Beyond! In the last episode, we went around the entire game and redid some of the 2D platforming sections in Crud. We don't know if the chest actually mattered for Curlia, but we got some Crud along the way, so it was worth it. Now, today I want to do something a bit different. Throughout the last handful of episodes, there's always been these red arrows on the mini-maps, which have always indicated, hey, story progress. The thing is, we've already got the credits, we already beat the story. But is there a post-game story? I want to go investigate and find out once and for all if there's still more stuff to do. So, we're gonna go over here. Now, I think this leads to Wish Park, so we're gonna have to go back to Wish Park here. And we don't have to challenge the record, I guess, so we can just go right in. We don't have to do any kind of shaking minigame. But yeah, there's some friends we can make in Wish Park, and, well, the red arrow indicates story, so I want to figure out what the crud is going on here. Well, here we are, and we're right next to Why Not, who we've already befriended. Why not have some fun? Don't say Why Not, that's weird. It'd be like me saying Pikachu, which I guess is what Pokemon do, they kind of say their names. We yeah, have the red arrows over here, and this is what leads to the palace, so I don't know why that's there. It's you! Why are you here? Don't get so defensive. We came to see what happened to Wish Park. Thanks to you, it's quiet here! Cuffagrigus and everyone are hard at work. They're making it so everyone will come and play here again. Oh, we won't keep Pokemon from going back or anything, don't worry. That's no problem then. Hmm. To be honest, we thought you guys might be a little depressed. Oh, what's wrong? Gothitelle won't... She won't leave Wish Palace. I've never seen Gothitelle so sad before. Gothitelle's waiting for Master Darkrai to come back. I don't remember their voice. I'm just changing voices randomly. Why not? I just know it. Darkrai hasn't come back from the Dark Vortex then. Okay. It's decided. Decided what? We're going to look for Darkrai. Okay. Why? Yeah, I agree! At the very end, Darkrai protected Dar uh, Poke Park. He did, it's true. I'll come along. I was just thinking I'd like to keep on adventuring. Really? You're really going to look for Master Darkrai? But the Dark Vortex is gone! How will you look for him? Now that you mention it, what should we do? Seriously, he said that without coming up with any kind of plan? Maybe the Area Keepers know something. I've never heard of a Pokemon returning from the Dark Vortex. We should ask Superior, Samrot, or Embor if they've heard anything. Well, those are all Pokemon that we've befriended, so the red arrow's finally gone. So let's go back and, well, talk to all the area keepers, which is something we can do pretty easily. Well, step one, I gotta figure out how to get back. Oh, you know what? Real quick, let's talk to Munchlax. Wait, they're already my friend. Never mind. Get out of here. <laughs> I see an exit over this way, so we're going to go and take that. I just thought I just thought about this. We could probably exit in a particular area if we wanted to. I don't know which exit this one goes to. Cove area. Well, let's go talk to Samurott then. Why, hello, Mr. Samurott. I think it's probably, uh, it makes the most sense to have Oshawott out for this, considering Samurott's the evolved form of Oshawott, and this is kind of Oshawott's area. So let's go talk to him. Darkrai's whereabouts, I see. As long as Darkrai is missing, this case cannot truly be closed. But if the Vortex swallow Darkrai, finding him will indeed be hard. Does, does the Vortex, like, digest him and then poop him out? We gotta go find Darkrai as poop. I've heard there's a way to meet the legendary Reshiram and Zekrom. The way has been passed down in the Arbor area and the Crag area. Why don't you ask Superior? <laughs> Great, Samrot's like, I'm the only one here who's useless. Go talk to the other two. Those two will come in handy. So I guess we're done here in the Cove area. Let's go talk to Driftblim and fly over to the Arbor area next. Okay, we're back over on Snivy. We're here in Verdant Court. And I'm kind of wondering if this little bit of extra story progress will make Timber finally ready to build that bridge for us when we come back here. Well, we'll find out in the future. Thanks to you all, the Dark Vortex has disappeared. The Arbor area bathes in warm sunlight once more. Everyone at the Berry Party was grateful for your work. And what do you need today? We're looking for Darkrai, who jumped into the Dark Vortex? Is that so? You want to help Darkrai, the one who caused all that trouble. I am impressed by the maturity the four of you show. Well... Finding a Pokemon swallowed up by the Dark Vortex and then digested and pooped out is an impossible task. But if you wish, why don't you try asking Reshiram from the legend? Uh, Queen Superior, do you know how we can meet Reshiram? Hmm, here's how the story goes. First, collect 20 of the shining feathers called Vast White Quills. I've got 22 of those cruds, I think. I think. <laughs> then take them to the arcane area and put them before the dyes there. This is said to open the path to Reshiram's location. So I wonder if the arcane area, unless my memory just sucks and we've already been there, there's like this one area that's been on the friends list that we couldn't look at. I wonder if that's what that is. The arcane area is beyond the bridge, just past the stump, right? Uh, correct. 
Oh, the bridge that Timber's been building! What a coincidence! Correct. The bridge has been broken, but I asked Timber to fix it. Alright, so all we had to do this whole time to get that crud fixed was do this little bit of story progress. So, I'm guessing that we have to deal with this to get Reshiram, and then something related to uh, Tepig will probably, or the Crag area, will probably be Zekrom. And you know what? While we're here... Oh, Deerling's there. What the crud? Uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and grab this item, which is some sweet leaves. I don't think we're friends with Deerling, are we? I'm gonna go talk to them real quick. Deerling. No, we are. <laughs> well, my memory's terrible. Okay, so we're already friends with them, so let's just move on then. And let's go see if the bridge is finally done. Come on, Tim Burton. Let's go talk to him. I'm fixing the bridge right now. Wait a little bit, okay? Still? Still? <laughs> So I guess we can never go over there. What the crud? Let me talk to Superior one more time just to see. Uh, but if we can't do that, then I guess I'll just go to the crag area. Let me just double check, make sure I do have... Yeah, 22 Vast White Quills. So needing 20 Vast White Quills is not the problem here. No, they just want to battle again, so that's kind of not important. So instead, let's go to the crag area. Maybe we do need to go there already. I thought we'd have to go across the bridge now, but... I guess it's not time. Someday we'll cross the bridge. Oh! All right, first off, I'm gonna run over there as Snivy because she's the fastest, but then right away, we're gonna swap over to Tepig. And we can see Embor has the dots over their head. I don't remember seeing those for Samrod or Superior, so maybe Embor was the one we should have gone to to begin with. So let's go talk to them here. Oh, it's you guys! Thanks to you, the crag area is exciting and lively today too. Uh, Embor, there's something we want to ask you. Oh, it's, so it's finally time to tell you. The connection between courage and fake beards is the... <laughs> fake beards? You See, I used to be a big wimp and, uh... What? That's not it. Uh, then what do you want to ask? Uh, we're searching for Darkrai. I see, so that's it. Hmm, the Dark Vortex swallowed Darkrai, digested it, then the poofed him out. I don't know why I'm doing this. So finding him sounds difficult, but... Well, it's impossible, but... Do you want to give this a try? Impossible? That sounds easy. What is that? Some kind of orb? This is the Deep Black Orb. It's been passed down in the crag area for generations. It's said that if you break the orb, you can retrieve what's inside. If you bring them the item to the dyes in Wish Park, you can meet Zekrom. Many powerful Pokemon have tried to break it, but no one has succeeded. All right, this important item that's been passed down for generations. We're just going to destroy it. Why not? Hmm, it's pretty... Oh, that's Oshawott. Hmm, it's pretty clear you're the strongest one among us. If you can't do it, we can't either. <laughs> this orb is said to be made of the hardest substance in the world. If we told Reuniclus that, he'd be thrilled to research it. That's it. Let's ask Reuniclus. He might be able to think of a way to break it. Okay, are diamonds really the hardest thing, or are there stuff stuff harder than diamonds? Come on, Tepig, let's go up and talk to Reuniclus here. Hey, I found another orb. It's a deep blue orb. I'm sure it's not important for anything. To the Scientorium! Well, we're here. Let's go and talk to Reuniclus and show them the deep black orb. Yep, they got the dots over their head. That seems important. Let's talk to him here. Hey, Reuniclus. Hello there, everyone. I figured out Wish Bark in the mystery of the Dark Vortex. So now I'm looking for something new to research. Do you have anything interesting? Uh, we've got the thing just for crud. This is the Deep Black Orb. It's supposed to be harder than anything else in the world. Do you know how to break this? Ooh, let me see. Yes, why, this does seem interesting indeed. I'll have a look. For science! All right, what's the scoop, dude? Thank you for waiting. My analysis is complete. That was very quick. Chances are I can make a machine to break this orb, but to operate it, I will need an incredible amount of energy. Energy equivalent to the energy in wind, thunder, and the land itself. Do you have any idea where we can get that energy? Even Pikachu's Thunderbolt isn't uh, enough energy. Wind and thunder, huh? Now that you mention it, the Cove area has a legend of a Pokemon that causes powerful winds. Samurop might know more. I know they're talking about the Thunderous and uh, the Tornadus, all those shrines that we've been seeing. They're talking about that, crud. Please acquire that energy. Meanwhile, I will start working on the machine. All right, so we already know where two of them are. One of them was with Mandibuzz, and one of them was just chilling in the cove area. So we'll go talk to Samrot because they say to, but I don't think it's going to be that important. Let's go right back to Seasong Beach here. We're doing a lot of traveling back and forth around the world. Oh my gosh, guys, my whole life has been a lie. We can just hold down the dash button and keep dashing. You guys can't see my controller, but this entire playthrough, I've been mashing on it the whole time instead of holding it. Wow. <laughs> Everything has changed. Okay, let's talk to Samrot here. What? A Pokemon that whips up the wind? 
That would be Tornadus. He's very wild. Legends say an ancient area keeper sealed his power in a shrine, but you can chant a spell to call him. I think it goes like this. When the wind whips past with the wild whoosh, Tornadus is here. Thank you, sir. All right, so we know the spell now, and we know where the shrine is, which is just chilling up to the top there. It was behind a barrier. You, you can actually see it from here, but it was behind a barrier that uh, Tepic had to break open. Fluffy blankets! I think we have to jump up this to get there, and we probably need Snivy for that, crud. Oh man, the barrier is back. We gotta break it again. Let's go, Tepig. Just run into it with our face once, maybe twice. There we go. And now I can hold down the dash button instead of mashing it. This is fantastic. Let's just run over. Go to the shrine. I've already forgot what the spell is, so hopefully they remember it. Oh, let's get that fast white quill. Right, the barrier's back because I lost my progress a few episodes ago. That's what that was. All right, here is the shrine. Let's go and see if we can get him. Let's chant the spell. When the wind whips past with the wild whoosh, Tornadus is here. Tornadus, Tornadus, Tornadus. Is anyone getting reminded of Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker? Just me? So you're the one who called. What in the world do you want? Uh, you cause amazing winds, right? We need your powers. Can you come with us to the Scientorium in the tech area? Hmm, I don't mind the compliment, but there's a better way to ask. How about it, Run? Can you make a request in the right way? Does he want to fight? Please, Mr. Tornadus. Okay, well then, let's have a little competition. No one has called me in a long time, and I've been bored. If you can catch me in chase, I'd be willing to help you out. How about it? I think we have Tepig out right now, so this is probably not a good idea, but let's just let's just see if Tepig can do it. Probably gonna have to use Snivy. It's a gosh dang legendary or mythic or whatever the Crud Tornadus is considered. Well, let's see how this goes. Uh, yeah, for Tepig. One minute on the clock. They're kind of in an area where they're a little bit closed off, so maybe we'll get lucky here. Just start rushing towards them. And they throw tornadoes at us. Of course they would. I mean, they kind of live up to their name. Let's do some shake dashing, run into the tornadoes perfectly, because that's my specialty, running right into their attacks. Okay, dodge. Dodge, there you go. Oh, crud, but turning is hard. Oh my gosh, I just ran through a piece of wood. Well, I am fast enough. The problem is that Tepig's not good at maneuvering, and, well, these tornadoes are not working out so well. I'm just gonna take it easy, guys. Let's just go get Snivy here. A sad sack. I'm a happy sack, dude. Snivy. All right, let's go and try this the second time here. Now, Tornadus didn't seem that fast, so I'm hoping that I can just use my regular dash and not have to use the shake dash, because the shake dash is super hard to control. So if I can just use the regular dash, it'll be much easier to dodge their tornadoes. So that's the plan, hopefully it works out. Let's just get to it, dodge their first tornado. Oh, they juked me right there, they went the other way. As you can see, my current dash is definitely fast enough, but we do have to dodge stuff. Just keep on dodging. Stay out to the side here, and boom. Very easy for a maximum speed Snivy. It looks like the tactic there is if you just stay far enough, far enough, blech, far enough out to the right, then the tornadoes just totally miss, so that works out. Thank you, Mr. Tornadus. I don't really like working alone, though. Wait, I have an idea. If you need amazing power, my friend and I should work together. It's not as amazing as my win, but Thunderous' lightning isn't bad. Go get Thunderous from the shrine at the Colosseum. There's a spell to call him, too, of course. Here you go. With a lightning flash, with a rumble and a crash, Thunderous is here. Well, I'm off to that old Scientorium, then. All right, we've befriended Tornadus. How about that? Well, next up, we're going to go to the Colosseum, like they said. We've already dealt with Mandibuzz, so we already know we can get to uh, Thunderous there. Well, here we are, and there's Bear Tick. But what we actually want to do is go and talk to Mandibuzz way over here and see if they'll take us back over to the shrine. Would you like to go to the shrine? Yes, indeed. So we don't have to give them more items like we did before. That's good. We've already seen this cutscene, so we'll go ahead and skip it. And here we are at Thunderous's shrine. Let's go and do it. Hopefully, this is yet another chase because we've got Snivy out. Let me say the spell this time. If the wind blows, uh, that's the spell for Tornadus. Well, it would have been if you'd gotten it right. Oh, oops, that was the wrong one. What was it now? With a lightning flash, with a rumble and a crash, Thunderous is here! Was he hiding behind the shrine that entire time? Who woke me from such a great nap? 
I'm so sorry. Tornadus told us you'd help us with your thunder power. What? That Tornadus just offered my help without even asking me? Well, if you're having trouble, I can help you out, sure. But I need to wake up a little first. How about a lively game of chase? If you beat me, I'll go over wherever you need me to go. So it is chase, good. Let's move so we have more room to run. You don't even have legs, buddy. How can you run? Well, Snivy can run at least. So we're gonna go over to the Coliseum itself. Wow, jeez. Stop flexing on me, bro. And they're starting a little ways away. We can see a beautiful rainbow in the background. I'm gonna try dashing. Is he gonna throw out some attacks? Yep. We're gonna do the same tactic. <laughs> wow, so easy, dude. Gosh dang legendary Pokemon taking less than four seconds. But yeah, the tactic is just stay out to the side so they just miss. Okay, I'll help you as promised. And we've befriended Thunderous. Yeah. Thank you, Thunderous. But if it's just Tornadus and me, we sometimes get carried away. And if we get to fighting and there's nobody to stop us, that's bad news. Go to the shrine in the arcane area and awaken the power of the land. Go get Landorus. Here's the spell for calling him. When the ground sounds a rumbling roar, Landorus is here. Well then, I'll be in the site or whatever it was. The arcane area is just past Verdant Court in the Arbor area. The bridge is out, but let's go have a look. Oh my gosh, Timber, will you finally have the bridge? You know what, guys? I think this is a perfect spot to cliffhang, because we're on the edge of a cliff right here. And also, we'll need, we need to find out if the bridge is built. But yeah, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here for today. We'll come back next time and see if we can get to that arcane area and then befriend Thunderous, or Landorus, I mean. And then with them, we can befriend Reshiram and Zekrom. And it sounds complicated, but we're going to see if we can do it. So I will see you guys next time. Take care.